Welcome back, GM Nation. This is your host, GMB Grace, aka GMB Rex. Let's make sure we're recording today. You're recording. Let's get it. All right. This is number 34 on trending. This is uh, another what's trending topic of the day. Game explains how much better is Sonic redesign head to head comparison featuring Sonic the Hedgehog himself. All right, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, I'm interested. I already seen the movie trailer, the new movie trailer, and the old movie trailer, so I didn't really want to have to react to that because I already seen it off camera and it wouldn't be a pure reaction. You know, I'd like to do pure reactions for you guys. So without further ado, let's do a pure reaction. This is my first time rea reacting to a uh, comparison uh, point of view and just understanding the the value behind this character in general because Sonic the Hedgehog is like. A brand new trailer for the Sonic movie just released, and his design looks so much better than the debut trailer. In fact, some scenes are directly comparable in both trailers, so let's put them head to head. Ready? Let's blast through with Sonic Speed! Alright, maybe that was too fast. Let's go a tiny bit slower between each scene. Alright, so this scene opens identically, but as we move to Sonic, there's a drastic difference in the two designs. The first one kind of looks underfed and scrawny and just like something you'd find on the street, whereas the new one has so much more personality and energy. He just looks fuller and more vibrant and kind of demands your attention in every scene. There's also some differences in the scene itself here. Uh, the brand new design is holding a ring, whereas the first one's just kind of, like, I don't know, he's just kind of standing around. <laughs> But yeah, we then go on to the officer shooting Sonic with a tranquilizer dart, and they both sort of react in very different ways too. Uh, the power of the fans! We have united to make Sonic the way we imagine. This is lovely. The first one just kind of like holds his hands together, whereas the new one's actually kind of freaking out. You can see so many more expressions. I think a lot of that comes from his larger eyes. They're just far more expressive than what the original one conveyed. And also look at the teeth. The teeth uh, in the original one just give me nightmares for days. Whereas these new ones just, they feel a bit less like he's going to bite you and murder you, which I really appreciate. Now, I don't think this is actually the same scene as the officer's wearing two different items of clothing here, but just look at how more natural the new one looks. In the first one, it doesn't even really seem like Sonic's there, he's just kind of lounging around in a car. Whereas in the second one, he seems far better composed and isn't just awkwardly sitting there in that weird pose he's doing in the initial debut trailer. We then go on to another identical scene, although it has changed a tiny bit. Uh, instead of Sonic jumping out of the top of the car, he now latches onto the back and does a spin dash from there. We then get two new identical spin dashes, although the actual effects are very different too. The first one has some more obvious sort of lightning effects, whereas this one just seems more like a normal spin dash. Although when he makes contact with the vehicle, there's still some lightning effects in both scenes. Alright, so this is the last scene in both trailers, and not a whole lot's different in this opening here apart from the lighting being different. I on do see the difference. They, they got color differences. They done did a lot of different changes to this, <laughs> to the visuals, man. It's beautiful. This drone. Uh, in the first one, it's... We went from Tron to... We went from Tron... <laughs> We were from Tron to Star Wars, it's lit! Blue, second one is red, and I guess this is kind of just to show that this is a Robotnik's drone, which makes sense with it being red rather than blue. But then as we go on, we get a bit more of a close-up of Sonic in motion when he's running around, and he just looks a whole lot more natural in the second one, especially the slide here. I mean, like, look at this pose. Sonic just fits in so much better in this new version. But what do you guys think? Do you actually prefer the initial debut design, or do you really love this brand new redesigned Sonic? Let us know what you think redesign. down below, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on the Sonic movie and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye! Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, Chief. Um, I'm definitely you prefer the all for one when it comes to the new Sonic, cause the old Sonic looking like something off of uh, <laughs> Lazy Town, bro. I'm not. I'm not here for no Lazy Town looking character, bro. Like Lazy Town needs to stay in Lazy Town, cause that looked like a lazy edit. But the new edit is amazing, real refurbished. It looks like my work in class. It's beautiful. Hey, but no, that's it for today's video. Um, Roll to 1K, let's get into it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, guys. Y'all make sure y'all leave a like, a comment. Make sure you, you let me know what you want me to react to next. Next, uh, In the comment section down below, leave a reaction uh, request, and I will get to it within a week's notice. Um, 
without further ado, that is today's videos. This was What's Trending, number 34. Um, Y'all have a great day. This is your boy, Jimmy Creates, a.k.a. Jimmy Reacts. Stay excellent. GMB, out.